What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Falls. We back at it again with another video, and today we are looking at a hands-on preview from IGN of the Kalisto Protocol. This is slowly becoming one of the most covered games we've covered on the channel. Looks very interesting. It's like a Dead Space experience, like turned up a notch. And then we got the Dead Space remake coming on top of that. Like so, like we got a lot of horror games coming. We got the Resident Evil 4 remake coming next year. The Shadows of Rose or, or Resident Evil Gold Edition just dropped to, just dropped the other day or today. And we got we got a lot of horror games. This tis the season for horror. This is the 28th as of me, me, me making this video. Halloween's a few days away. Perfect time in it to get some horror games in. So we're going to take a look at this um, hands-on preview right here. So without further ado, let's get to the video. While Callisto Protocol is technically an entirely new IP with a brand new story, the skeletal base of Dead Space, which Striking Distance founder Glenn Schofield co-created, is apparent. So can the spiritual beat. successor live yeah. up to the original? Hold on. Uh, uh. Callisto Protocol, yeah, Harvard, get me going crazy. In my preview time, and you know I'm going through the game, I'm not lazy. Playing we through the game, and then you know the shit play, is crazy. So I don't know, I said, because you're ready, but she's my baby. I don't really know anyway, what the fuck I'm really saying. The <laughs> noises, oh, shit. That's a fire beat, though. I like that. Echoes all around made me feel constantly on edge. Oh, if nothing else, Callisto Protocol gets the creepy, constantly anxious Shoot environment the down to a science. Okay. Controlling protagonist Jacob Lee feels the a lot like controlling Isaac from Dead Space. Hey. They're constantly looking over his shoulders for what lurks ahead. Jacob feels very heavy in movement and feels less like a video game character and more like an actual person you're trying to push in the right direction. His melee attacks are a slower wind-up than your usual FPS melee strikes. His run also feels like a realistic jog speed and not like a tireless super soldier who never runs out of stamina. I like that. Jacob's heavy presence I like the realism. The world, combined with his deliberate pace made Callisto Protocol feel even scarier. For the same reasons, the combat is pretty slow and heavy itself. While this feels great in adding realism and anticipation, it was also slightly frustrating sometimes because I couldn't time the attack mm. right to smack a biophage enemy immediately in front of me. Well, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's your fault, baby girl. You gotta practice. Practice makes perfect. Ammo being scarce, much like in Dead Space, melee seemed the best option for dealing with a monster in front of your face. Mm. You start with a pistol and a baton Weave. and can unlock a shotgun later. You also have the ability to use Jacob's GRP or grip gravity weapon to pull things towards you and also push them away. In combat, the grip does come in handy in pulling an enemy then flinging them into a wall or object that can damage them further. That's disgusting how they transform. The weapon, though, so you can't just constantly fling enemies off of you. Well, at the start of the level, I could blast Wait, what she said? You can't just come into a wall or object that can damage them further. There's limited battery on the weapon, though, so you can't just mm. constantly fling enemies off. Limited them. battery. While at the start of the level, I could blast through enemies with my pistol at will and restock, I found that the further I went, the less ammo I would find. Oh, fling. my but God. To a point where I realized that I had five total bullets left going through multiple checkpoints. Callisto definitely encourages you to save on bullets and use your environment and different combinations to fight through the torn prison, but it doesn't really help you realize you should be prioritizing other options, especially when you're given so much free ammo at the beginning. Mm. Nah, this gameplay is going to be something serious, bro. The fact that like you have realistic movement and the enemies move faster than you, you really got to get your strategies down like that. Already, you gotta already have your strategies down before you even pick up the controller. Being forced into a specific playstyle when you originally thought you had more freedom of choice was a little bit frustrating. The combat almost seems to reward perfect combinations of grip throws, pistol shots, and baton smacks. I had known that going in, I would have been more ready and less frustrated with the lack of ammo. I played Dead Space and I know what limited ammo feels like, but in Callisto, the ammo somehow feels even more scarce. At a certain point, the aliens you fight will spew tentacles from their chest and when damaged enough, will mutate into a stronger form. When this happens, a single shot to the tentacles will keep them from mutating. But if you're out of ammo or if you have just a few shots left and miss, you're very much out of luck yeah, and you're have screwed. to try to melee and dodge, which feels incredibly difficult, or die and try again. Nah, we nah, we we may we may lay in dodging. If we run out of bullets, we weave, 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 weave. 
going through everything. This would often lock you into dying and respawning, a cycle that just got more frustrating each time I approached it. Going into Callisto is a challenging experience that really tests your survival skills with precise combinations of attacks. Certain parts of the levels were really like playing a Souls-like game that required you to do some practice runs and fail before getting that perfect pass to progress. Overall, now that I know what to expect, I'm willing to give Callisto another try since the environment was so well done, but I really need to be mentally prepared for frustrations and replaying specific sequences. For more on your favorite horror games, don't miss our hands-on previews of Resident Evil 4 Remake and Dead Space Remake. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN. Okay. Okay. I like that. Then they got a performance view and the, and the kills view, and I like that. They're really digging in on this game. Um, it comes out December 2nd, if you didn't know. Um, it is basically a spiritual successor to um, Dead Space, if you couldn't tell already just by looking at this. And I just think this is going to be a game of the year contender, even though it's coming late in the year. You know people are going to play the, play the mess out of it from now until... The end of this year so it's going to be enough time to be at the at least at the jeff Keighley awards the game awards um which will we will be uh we will be covering that we'll probably either i'll probably watch it live and then upload it or just stream it or something like that i might try streaming because i finally got my streaming set up like i got the streaming set up on here on youtube so i might just actually stream it and you know whoever pull up pull up if nobody pull up oh well because i was going to do the video anyway without anybody watching just me talking to the camera like I do with my normal videos. So um let me know if you'd pull up to the stream. If I streamed like the game awards or if I just streamed in general. Like let me know if you pull up to the stream. Like I I'll definitely announce it beforehand and stuff. Like I just want to get an idea of how to stream on YouTube because I want to grow my audience. I want to show y'all more of me, you know, more of my personality and stuff. Just not just with these with these uh record with these pre recorded videos. So let me know if in the comments if you'd be interested in me in me streaming some stuff. So um, but this game's looking dope. We're definitely copping it. And that's all needs to be said for now. So um, y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is your boy, Justice Falls, and we out.